Sansa, still under the alias Elaine, attends a sword jousting session for Robin at Runestone, along with Littlefinger and Yon Royce, visibly unimpressed with Robin's subpar skills at swordsmanship. Sansa notices that Littlefinger receives a raven message. Soon after, they leave Robin in the care of Lord Royce, for further training. On the carriage ride, Sansa questions Peter as to why they are heading west when Lord Royce was told they would be traveling to the Fingers, unsure of his source of distrust. Peter promises her that they are going somewhere far away, where Sansa will be safe from Queen Cersei. On their journey, Sansa and Baelish stop for lunch at an inn, where she tries ale for the first time. Sansa can't see what all the fuss is about, although the entire episode is designed to catch Littlefinger off guard so she can ask about the raven message he received back at Runeston. Baelish doesn't answer the question beyond indicating that the old saying, dark wings, dark words, doesn't apply in this instance. Shortly thereafter, Brienne appears unexpectedly and declares herself for Sansa. Baelish doubts that Sansa would want a sworn shield who let both of her previous masters die, even when Brienne reveals the true, somewhat unbelievable circumstances of Renly's death. Sansa seems inclined to agree with Littlefinger, pointing out that Brienne was present at Joffrey's wedding, to which the warrior replies that neither of them wanted to be there. Sansa rejects Brienne's offer of service and watches as she quickly defeats the guards and escapes. Sansa and Baelish eventually arrive at the ruins of Moat Caelan, where Sansa learns that they are actually returning to Winterfell and Baelish's plan is to have her marry Ramsay Bolton, the recently legitimized son of Roose Bolton, the current Warden of the North. Sansa is initially reluctant to marry into yet another family that betrayed hers, but Baelish pacifies her by claiming it will be an opportunity for her to avenge her family. They arrive at Winterfell, where Baelish introduces Sansa to the Boltons. Roos and Ramsay greet Sansa politely, and after a tense moment during which she is repulsed merely by looking at Roos, Sansa greets them with courtesy, while Miranda, Ramsay's secret mistress, eyes Sansa with jealousy. She is later brought back to her old room by a servant, who welcomes her home and tells her that, the North remembers. While walking through Winterfell's courtyard, Sansa unknowingly passes Theon Greyjoy, who had been her father's ward she and her siblings grew up with at Winterfell. Theon hides his face from her as she passes. Settling into life at Winterfell, Sansa visits the Stark family crypts, relighting the votive candles and cleaning up the offerings left by visitors prior to Winterfell's fall. Littlefinger finds her regarding the statue of her long-dead aunt Lyanna Stark. Littlefinger, with minimal commentary, tells Sansa of the events at the tourney at Harrenhal, where Rhaegar unhorsed Sir Barristan Selmy, passed by his wife, and gave Lyanna a crown of flowers blue as frost all to the shock of the crowd. He then tells Sansa that he's been recalled to King's Landing and that keeping Cersei waiting much longer would be unwise. Littlefinger explains parts of his master plan to Sansa. Stannis will inevitably take the North, and when he does, he will need a Stark at Winterfell. Littlefinger is certain Stannis will declare Sansa the Wardeness of the North. Even if Stannis fails, Ramsay is already betrothed to Sansa, and thus Sansa, who has learned to manipulate from the very best, can take control of House Bolton from within. Sansa's maid brings a message to her. Consoling Sansa that she still has allies in the north, she tells Sansa to light a candle in the highest window of the broken tower if she's ever in trouble. As Sansa wanders around the castle, she runs into Miranda. Miranda puts on a friendly facade, talking to Sansa about her mother's demise. To help Sansa, remember, how things used to be while her family was still living in Winterfell, Miranda leads Sansa down to the kennels. In the kennels, Sansa finds, Reek, asleep in one of the cages. Awoken by Sansa's arrival, he just shakes his head when Sansa calls him Theon. He warns her that she shouldn't be down there. Seeing Reek in such a pitiable condition, Sansa angrily storms away. At dinner, Ramsay is initially well behaved, toasting his wedding to Sansa but is soon back to his old self as he forces Reek to apologize to Sansa for murdering Bran and Rickon. With much difficulty, Reek finally mutters an apology. Ramsay suggests that Reek be the one to give Sansa away at the wedding since he is the closest thing Sansa has to kin. Roos accepts this suggestion. Roos and Walda announce Walda's pregnancy, upsetting Ramsay, which in turn delights Sansa. On the night of her wedding, Miranda draws a bath for Sansa during which she advises Sansa not to bore Ramsay, and tells her about the fates of Violet, Tansy, and a third unseen girl named Kyra, examples of girls who Ramsay murdered for sport. 
When Miranda mentions that both she and Ramsey killed Tansy by hunting her, Sansa becomes angry, asking Miranda how long she has been in love with Ramsey and if she really expected Ramsey to marry her. She coolly tells Miranda that she is a Stark of Winterfell and will not be intimidated so easily by her, and dismisses her to finish her bath herself, though she is visibly shaken by Miranda's story. Later, when Theon comes to fetch Sansa for the wedding, she refuses to hold Theon's arm. Theon pleads for her to do so, revealing that Ramsay will punish him if she doesn't. Sansa coldly asks if he thinks she cares what Ramsay does to him, and strides past him. Reek then gives Sansa away to Ramsay, and they wed in front of the godswood, in a ceremony officiated by Roos and attended by many northern lords. Sansa hesitantly takes Ramsay as her husband, her eyes down, unable to look him in the eye. After returning to the bedroom, Ramsay first interrogates Sansa about her virginity and her marriage to Tyrion, then orders her to take her clothes off. Reek turns to leave but Ramsay tells him he must stay, taunting him, you grew up with her as a girl, now watch her become a woman. Annoyed by Sansa's hesitancy, Ramsay angrily rips open the back of her dress and pushes her face down over the side of the bed. As he unbuckles his clothes, Sansa obediently remains still but begins crying softly. Reek is visibly distraught and begins silently crying himself, as Ramsay proceeds to rape her, and forcibly consummate their marriage. Over the next few days, Ramsay continues to rape Sansa every night, leaving bruises on her arms and body. She effectively becomes a prisoner of the Boltons, who keep her locked in her bedchamber. Reek brings her breakfast, and when she realizes he is there, she tries to talk to him and get him to help her. However, Reek reminds Sansa that she is Ramsay's wife now and merely tells her to do what he says or else he will hurt her. Sansa protests that Ramsay hurts her every night and finds it hard to believe that it could possibly get any worse but Reek warns her that it can. Sansa asks Reek what Ramsay did to break him to such an extent but when he tries to flee, Sansa grabs him by the wrist and angrily reminds him that he betrayed her family, making him apologize profusely. She tells Reek that he can still redeem himself by lighting a candle in the broken tower in order to signal the Stark's ally she was told about. Though Sansa addresses him as Theon throughout this conversation, Reek keeps repeating his name is Reek, forcing Sansa to grab him by the face and look him directly in the eye. She insists that his name is Theon Greyjoy, the only surviving son of Balan Greyjoy, and this initially seems to get through to Theon for a time. During a walk on the battlements, Ramsay gloats that one day he will be the Warden of the North, with Sansa as his Wardeness. Sansa counters by telling him his position is still threatened by Roos and Walder's unborn son since this child will be true-born while Ramsay is not, as Ramsay is bastard-born and was legitimized by King Tom and Baratheon, who Sansa asserts is another bastard. Sansa learns that her half-brother John has recently been elected Lord Commander of the Night's Watch when Ramsay tells her that even bastards can rise high in the world, citing John's rise in the Night's Watch to Lord Commander. As they descend into the courtyard, Sansa pockets a corkscrew while Ramsay reveals that Reek reported the candle to him, and Ramsay responded by flaying Sansa's elderly maid. He forces Sansa to view her maid's corpse. She is then ordered back to her chambers. Sansa remains angry at Theon for his betrayal, as well his role in Bran and Rickon's murder. When Theon enters her chambers again to bring her latest meal, she demands an answer for his latest betrayal and coldly expresses approval when he tells her about the torture Ramsay put him through. Theon shamefully admits he deserved it as he did terrible things, specifically killing, those boys. Enraged by his reference seemingly to her brothers as, those boys, rather than Bran and Rickon, Sansa vehemently demands to know why they should be dead while he still breathes the air, forcing Theon to finally admit that they were not Bran and Rickon but two farm boys. Stunned by this admission, her anger towards Theon cools. However, when she asks if he knows where they might have gone to, he breaks down and leaves the room, fearful of what Ramsay will do if and when he finds out what he just told her. However, Sansa appears to be left with a sense of renewed hope by the revelation that she has more surviving family left. Sansa attempts to escape during the battle between the Boltons and Stannis Baratheon by picking the lock on her door with the corkscrew and lighting the candle in the tower. However, Brienne and Podrick don't see the candle due to being distracted by Stannis's army. In the process of trying to escape, Sansa runs into Miranda and Theon, with the former aiming a bow at her. Miranda says that she has come to escort Sansa back to her chambers, and Theon initially begs Sansa to go with her. Though Sansa is visibly frightened, 
she stands her ground and refuses to go with Miranda, saying, if I'm going to die, let it happen while there's still some of me left. A bemused Miranda briefly lowers her arrow and admits Ramsay needs her alive in order to secure his hold on the north. But Miranda adds Ramsay doesn't need Sansa in one piece to do that, just the parts that he needs to produce his heir. Miranda maliciously knocks her arrow again and prepares to at least maim Sansa with it. Before she can release it, however, Theon grabs Miranda, making her fire and miss, and throws her off the battlement, killing her instantly on impact. Theon and Sansa then escape Winterfell by jumping off the side of Winterfell's walls, hoping to survive the long fall by landing in the deep snow.